Hey guys, Game.Film here, back with another video. Got a pickups video for you guys. I rented two movies from the library. The Batman, I've been putting off this movie for so long. 40 Guns, and then I rented from We Love Video, one of the few places where you can rent movies in Austin, Texas. Running on Karma, Hong Kong Cinema, that's my jam. I've also got a bonus pickup for y'all, video game, called Carrier. But let's talk about the movies first. Man, it's just, it's in pristine condition except that crack on the back. I'm sad about that. But man, let's talk about the Batman first. I mean, I've been putting this movie off for so long, guys. I just wasn't that fired up to see it. I'm not much of a new release guy. I like watching old stuff, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I took a chance on it this time. And two and a half stars out of five, guys. I think uh, Colin Farrell as Oz... Oswald Copperplate, he's like the best thing about this film, and I just found the, the dialogue to be pretty weak, like, they go investigate clues, right, and Jeffrey Wright, um, Batman's kind of sidekick cop, like, they look at a riddle and he's just like, what the hell does it all mean, I don't know, I don't know. but like, my friend Patrick, he points out that like, yeah dude, these Riddler, um, riddles are just not that not that in-depth, man. Not that deep. They're kind of easy to figure out, you know? And I don't know. I like Pattinson, man. He does a decent job here. Um, Zoe Kravitz, I mean, she has all kinds of sexy outfits on. She, she's looking cute. Um, fight choreography is pretty good, I have to say. And the movie is very um, low lit, but I do like the lighting in this movie. However... Like, I would think, like, Gotham, there's, like, one or two shots, man. It's like, whoa, this is, like, Gotham from the comic books. Like, it looks pretty, pretty, uh, spooky and, you know, just like a comic book. But, like, man, it just looks like a freaking city most of the time. Like, 90% of the time. So, like, I really wanted more of Gotham, man. That mysterious look to it, you know? So, I don't know. And, okay, the last quarter, or, in, like, the final action act super underwhelming man like he just goes and beats up a few guys and like the movie's over you know but it's like i don't know when are we gonna get a batman movie like um he, the billionaires like sharing their wealth you know that's kind of what i want to see but it's like uh, bad guys killing the elites i mean hey man that's, that's all right with me you know what i'm saying <laughs> um but yeah the Batman, two and a half stars out of five. Um, almost three stars for me as a recommendation. But yeah, I'm glad I watched it though. Um, second pickup from the library, 40 Guns. This is a film by Samuel Fuller, I think 1957, starring Barbara Steinwick. Stanwick? Um, she's like a, uh, Kind of like a rich, she's like the richest person in the city and she's got 40 hired guns all doing her dirty work and protecting her land, her property. Although there's a couple in that gang that are very unruly drunkards and a new guy comes into town, I think uh, U.S. Marshal Griff Bonnell played by Barry Sullivan. He kind of wants to retire and he settles down with like the girl that works at the gunsmith but he runs into Barbara Steinwick and he has to like kind of start making the rounds and getting her crew in line um, especially the unruly one so they kind of go at it there's a conflict there you've got a second romance between barbara and uh barry sullivan that happens but um yeah man it's there's some witty dialogue um griff the character is a really cool and he, Cool charisma and he I want I gotta spoil too much but man that last third he has some one-liners that are like damn that was like some real gangster stuff right there man so I don't watch too many westerns guys um, but this is only 80 minutes long black and white highly recommend this guys I was really impressed by this one four stars out of five this is my second Samuel Samuel Fuller film this year I watched um, it was a pickpocket movie at Austin Film Society. Um, Pick up on South Street. That was four and a half stars. You guys got to see that one too. That one was super thrilling. All right. Pick up from We Love Video. Unfortunately, 
my Kickstarter bonuses ran out. I was renting movies like six at a time, right? You, I have past pickup videos of me with stacks. But I was only able to rent one because I can rent two at a time now, but I lost one movie. I can't find it in my house. But anyways, this is directed by Johnny Toe, starring Andy Lau, Canto Pop God, Hong Kong, big time Hong Kong star. Um, Cecilia Chung, she's a cutie man. She's got cute little big ears. <laughs> Um, that's what one of my film Twitter guys said. But man, this guy is, um, Andy Lau's wearing like a muscle suit, man. Ridiculous looking. Just super buff, man. And he was like a monk in his earlier life. But, um, he's kind of caught up. He, he can't be too religious anymore. So, but he, he kind of wants that capitalistic life in the big city, you know. And... He can see like uh, people's past karma, people's past lives, and he ends up teaming up with Cecilia Chung, and I guess there's a little romance going on there, but they try to track down a serial killer together. But man, there's like contortionist, uh, serial killer, CGI, CGI contortionist, if that makes sense. Part of it looks real though. Um, crazy action, uh, good action choreography, guys. But um, it's just a really good story, man. It, it makes you think um, about what you should really want in life. And I think the story was really well done. But man, Johnny Toe, great director, man, since the mid to late 80s. He kills it, man. And I think this is one of his best films. I gave this one five stars out of five. I was just so in love with it. There's a scene where Andy Lau tries to ride a motorcycle and I guess he's a little inexperienced and he starts kind of like to wreck it um he can't seem to drive it well but my girlfriend and i man we we could not stop laughing of how well done the scene was it felt like some old school like charlie chaplin um slapstick moment but it was just so well done but yeah it's kind of a fantasy uh, action comedy running on karma guys that's the best of the bunch um those are my three pickups but just a bonus since this is game.film right I got one video game pickup for you guys. It's called Carrier. I am a survival horror fanatic. And one of my clients, customers, he was selling it. Here, let me, uh... Man, it's like he keeps all of his games in pristine condition. Just nice stuff, guys. But this is um, from the year 2000. I think the second or third year the Dreamcast has been out. It's got those, you know, that PS1 gen, PS2 gen graphics. And, man, I'm not really sure what it's about. But, dude, I love survival horror. And this was a good price. And it was in good condition, the disc and all. So, have you guys played this? Have you guys watched any of those movies? Hopefully, you guys get a chance to watch one of those films. I recommend it. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to be live on War Deer. Um, no, sorry, Warren, I call him. Warren Deer Entertainment, um, his YouTube channel, Extra Bulla. Check it out tomorrow, guys, 6 p.m. Central Time. We're going to talk video games, films, and we are also going to talk some news headlines, see what's going on in the world. So, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.